The nation's students returned to the classroom with the reopening of the second school term on Monday, January 11, 2021, after months of closure. The Department of Education, Innovation and Gender Relations continues to engage all stakeholders within the education sector amid the fluid nature of COVID-19. Minister for Education Honorable Dr. Gail Rigabert, during a press conference on Monday, reiterated the importance of consultation, especially during this time. She called on all stakeholders to engage their respective leaders and heads of department as they would have been part of the consultation meetings and the decision-making process. The sharing of information and decisions taken, the minister stressed, is critical. On all of the engagements that we've had, Mrs. Eugene, who's the head of the school counselors, sits in on that meeting. And she then would relay to her membership, her team, the counselors, that which pertains to them. In the same way, for example, Ms. Prince is the education officer for early childhood education and sits in on, in on all of our engagements. And she too will therefore pass on to that information to both private and public ad administrators or owners of what we call preschools or early childhood education officers. In the same spirit in which, for example, Mr. Sergis, who oversees our special education institution, sits in on these meetings and then passes on the information and engages persons in his particular subsector. So I want to thank all of those team leads, some of who I have not mentioned, for your full participation. And I trust that in your own way too, you will continue to engage engage with your subsectors. The Minister of Education emphasized that the safety of students, teachers and other school staff remain paramount and as such a number of measures have been undertaken to ensure their safety. One such measure is the boosting of the school's cleaning regimen. We have embellished, improved, emphasized our cleaning program throughout the week. In fact, additionally, for consideration by the Ministry of Finance is it, that a provision be made for extending the hours of janitors, caretakers, um, so as to accommodate that additional cleaning. And we will see that uh, roll out in the new fiscal year. But in the meantime, the concern should be and the way in which we should consider it. It is not that cleaning is reserved for one day a week, but rather it is a complete embrace of the need to ensure uh, a comprehensive cleaning, not that we weren't cleaning before, but that the effort be amplified throughout the week. Education Minister Honorable Dr. Rigabert highlighted other measures that have been undertaken to ensure all protocols are adhered to and safety prevails. Evidently, to allow for us to adhere to the protocols that pertain to the transportation sector, we We've had to consider the inclusion of additional buses so as to allow for us to meet that requirement within the transportation sector. Education Minister Honorable Dr. Gail Rigabert 